All right, today we're gonna to talk about all the awesome ways that you can save money on your taxes by owning real estate. Everybody knows real estate is a tax advantaged investment and I am absolutely no expert on that. So make sure to talk to an accountant to verify some of the things we're talking about here today. But I wanna tell you with my personal experience, it's helped me keep my tax bill really, really low every year just by owning real estate. And the two major ways that it's helped keep my tax bill really, really low are the mortgage interest deduction, which everybody and anybody gets by paying their mortgage. So let's say you have a mortgage, it's at a 7% interest rate. So just assume $20,000, $30,000 a year of your $50,000 a year mortgage payment might be interest. You get to write all of that off against your income. You don't get to write off the principal payments, but the interest portion of the payment you get to write off. Of course, you don't get to write off taxes or insurance, but that interest portion gets to be written off. So all of those mortgages you're getting by buying properties, you get to use that mortgage interest deduction in your favor. At the end of the year, you'll get a statement from your lender that says, hey, hey Jordan, you paid this much in interest. Great, oh, I'm glad to pay you interest. I'm gonna write it off and I know I'm paying down my principal while I'm also paying you interest. So, you know, you, nobody wants to pay high interest rates, but you know, there is some upsides to paying and more interest as you did to write all that off. But the, the biggest one that's helped me so much in paying less on my tax bill is depreciation. Depreciation has made a huge difference in the amount of taxes I pay every year. And what depreciation is, is the government assumes everything in your property except the land is gonna wear out over time. So they say, hey, everything in this property is gonna wear out over 27 and a half years, whether it be the roof, HVAC systems, the flooring, even the walls, everything's gonna wear out over time. And they allow you to depreciate that property or write off that property over time. So over a 27 and a half year period for residential properties, I want to say it's 29 and a half for commercial. Again, I'm not an accountant, not a tax professional, just from what I know, I mainly own residential properties and we get to write that off over a 27 and a half year period. So over that long period, you get to save a bunch of money in taxes because you're, you're writing it off over in full over 27 and a half years. Now, there are some cool ways to make this go faster. And it's called a cost segregation. So it's an accelerated depreciation and they will break down each of those pieces into shorter schedules. So they might say, hey, the roof, that's gonna last 20 years. So you get to write that off over 20 years. And hey, that, that water heater only lasts 10 years. Uh, they have a five year, they have a 15 year. I think it's a five year, seven and a half year, 15 year, and 27 and a half year schedule. So you can take a lot more depreciation in five years if you do a cost segregation when you buy a property. And you also get to continue to depreciate over those longer schedules, but you just take more of it right up front. You might take 30% of it up front and you, you stretch the rest of that out over time. So I had a misconception that with a cost segregation, I just took it all in the first couple of years, first five years. Actually, you do get to spread the rest of that out over those longer schedules. It's just not as even. It's not spread over 27 and a half years. It's broken down look into cost segregations and talk to a, a specialist if you want more information on it. But again, it's an amazing way to save money on taxes just by owning real estate, which is appreciating, which you're paying down the loan with rents from somebody else. or you're paying down the loan through your mortgage payments and you are getting the tax benefits and the benefits of owning property, which is where the middle class is made.